Hey, I have something I learned from our conversation that uh, actually I, it's not that I learned, it's that I can add to the conversation. It was about getting more followers when you might not want more followers. <laughs> what? Let me tell you how it happened before social media. Uh -huh. When I was making my way as an illustrator, it was mostly 90% with ad agencies that I could drive to within an hour and that one job led to another. And I found out that it was a relatively small community of advertising agencies in Orange County, a lot of medical clients, a lot of high tech clients. And so when I would work for an art director, they would know another art director and people would refer each other and it became a, a little village of people. But it wasn't the big time. It wasn't LA and New York and Chicago and these big ad agency markets. And everyone who was big time would take ads out in the directory of illustration or the workbook. And these ads, full page ads, cost between three and four thousand dollars to advertise your wares so that everybody, all the art directors all over the United States and even other parts of the world would know who you were before the internet. And we decided, colleagues of mine and I decided we could afford to do national advertising. And so we would take out our pages and we did get more jobs. And it ended up being one of the most unpleasant experiences of my career. Because when you have bigger agencies, one of the things we found out was that the bigger the agency, the less likely they would pay you on time because they've got a thousand employees and they can always put it off and put it off and it doesn't hurt them. There was no accountability for any relationships or that the word's going to get around because you would have some terrible working relationships that would come out of it. And I didn't do it uh, but three times and decided no more, no more standing out on the corner with a big sign that says available for relationships <laughs> because you, you just don't know who you attract that yeah. way. You're too good looking. Yeah, that was it. We found out that having this little village of people who knew each other, that if somebody did wrong, mm -hmm. other people knew about it and they could be held accountable was a better fit. Smaller was better in that instance. There was some bigger money for the ad agencies, but there was enough money for the smaller ones. That was our example of not trying to grow or growing and finding out I'd rather be uh, in something smaller and better. Okay. Okay. Well, it was just a personal experience of me reminiscing of back in the yeah. days when I was an illustrator. <laughs> <laughs>